Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today I'm going to try something really fun I've been dying to do. This was inspired by My Happy Space, Sonia, and she did on her channel what is called like Bingo Bible Journaling. That There it is right there. She told me to go to Illustrated Faith. They had a free download for Crafty Bingo. And I'll explain to it, I'll explain to you guys about it along the way. And then she also sent me a file. I think it was something that she did on her own, which added to this. And I love the idea of crafty bing bingo. It just brings another element to Bible journaling, making it more creative, fun, and spontaneous. That's the word. This is her file that she sent me. So I took the time and I cut them all down into the squares and I put them in a little pouch and you'll see that. And what you do is you put them in the pouch or whatever you choose, box or whatever, and you shake it up and then you pull out. Now I forgot how many she pulled out. I pulled out four. You pull out however many that you want and whatever you pull out, that's what you use for Bible journaling. How creative and fun is that? I will be doing this so much on this channel and I hope you're inspired to go over to Illustrated Faith and get the file so that you can try it too. And I just think I had so much fun doing it. It was a little iffy at first because I did not, the first set and I'll show you, I didn't have some of the, the items so I had to put them back in and shake it up again and I felt kind of bad. I felt like I cheated but it turned out okay once I did it. So as you can see, I put them in a little pouch. That's the pouch that my friend Gail gave me. And uh, I thought it was a perfect time to use it for my bingo Bible journaling. Okay, thank you for watching. And remember, if I can Bible journal, so can you. And I'll get to explaining all of the directions and what I used along the way. Take care. Here we are in round one, so I'm excited. I shook it up. And what I did was, I think I pulled, yeah, I pulled out four and I put them face down because I didn't want to see them as I was doing it. And the first one I pulled is, use your die cut machine. Okay, I have one of those. I ended up not using this set, just to let you guys know. Use buttons. I thought I didn't have buttons, but you'll find out later on that I do use buttons, so I kind of incorporate that back in. Use a photo. I didn't know what to do, so I threw that one back that one back in. I'll get better at it. This is my first time. And then the last one was use any clear stamps. So I do have clear stamps, but I decided to, to throw them back in and try another set to see if I can do something that I have at hand. And since it's my first time, I, you know, kind of playing around with the whole idea of Bingo Bible journaling, if that makes sense, but it really doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, okay, so we're going to put it back in and we're going to shake it up and we're going to try it again. Okay, I should have turned it over, but I didn't. Then I, yep, there we go. One, two, and see, crafty pouch. I didn't know, so I figured, well, I'm using crafty pouch to shake it, so does that count? So I wasn't sure about that one. And then use circles. I end up putting that one back. <laughs> so I was like, there's my crafty pouch. Sorry, guys. Again, I wanted you to see the process that I went through, um, but next time I'll just stick to whatever I pull out because that's the whole point of it, right? Now let's see what I pull out this time. Oh, make a faith dex card. Or use make a faith dex card. Yes, I have that. So I'm going to use the faith dex, make a pencil sketch, make a bold title on your page, and I ended up using buttons. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there is picture that says use circles as you know I did not use those so I just wanted to let you know the faith dex card I used was from Ella Rowitz and it is Psalm 61 verse 2 and it's called lead me and that's what I chose to use as my faith dex card
last but not least is the sketch pencil drawing. I decided to draw in a rock. I was wondering what should I draw? Since the scripture says in Psalm 61 verse 2, from the end of the earth will I cry unto thee when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And we know that Jesus Christ is our rock. So I'm attempting to look over at this Pinterest quick, easy drawing of a rock. I just decided to sketch it out and then I added some extra rocks to kind of make it look like a cluster of rocks. And then I'm going to color it in. I don't know if I should have, but I decided to use this gray Faber-Castell pit artist brush, pit artist brush pen, say that five times. And it came a little bit more alive. And then I said, should I color it in? I don't know. So what I decided to do was kind of like shade it in to make it not look perfect and it turned out okay the idea is I sketched according to the bingo Bible journaling I sketched it and I made the rocks and I did the best that I could I hope you guys were inspired I hope you enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making it and I enjoyed doing it and I cannot wait to do it I'm going to try to do one every two weeks if not every week along with a Bible journaling that I do I may just make it into a, a bingo Bible journaling and see what I come up with thank you for watching and Sonia thank you for the inspiration and the idea to go over to Illustrated Faith and also providing me with some extras. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you were inspired. Take care. In the video, I forgot to put some little stickers that I had left over. I think it said that um, Jesus is my rock or rock of my salvation, something like that. So I ended up putting it at the bottom and here is the picture of it. Hopefully it'll make it all the way to the bottom where you can see it.